Hello, my name is Ethan Wolf, and today I'll be talking about Achievement Goal Theory. The creator of Achievement Goal Theory is Carol Dweck. Background in Education Dweck was born in New York in 1946. She later graduated from Bernard University in 1967. After that, she graduated with a PhD in Psychology from Yale University in 1972. After graduating, Dweck moved from school to school researching and teaching. She started at the University of Illinois, then moved to the University of Harvard, and finally has landed as a professor at the University of Stanford. During her time at the University of Illinois, Dweck dove deep into her research on motivation, personality, and social development. It was here where she began her foundational research to create her theories. Dweck's most impactful theories are the theory of mindset and the achievement goal theory. The Achievement Goal Theory. This theory states that there are two mindsets and types of goal setters when it comes to learning. There is the growth mindset and fixed mindset. A growth mindset is able to take failure and learn from it, whereas a fixed mindset takes failure and sees it as a stopping point. The types of goal setters are mastery and performance. Mastery is wanting to know the subject and performance is wanting to show that you know more than others. The theory states the best learners have a growth mindset and set mastery level goals for themselves because they're learning, they see learning as incremental and not something you're born with. We have a picture here that shows fixed mindset and growth mindset. On the left we have fixed mindset who says, I'm only good at certain things, I give up when things get hard, I hate challenges, I take feedback and criticism personally, I don't like doing what I don't know. You could tell this wouldn't be a very good student, and they wouldn't set high goals for themselves. Whereas growth mindset says, I can be good at anything. I try until I get the results I want. I embrace challenges. I welcome feedback and criticism. I like learning about things I don't know. So you can see the growth mindset would be a much greater student and is going to go farther into their educational career. Mastery and performance-based goals mastery. This student wants to learn the subject completely and not just do it for the grades. He doesn't try to prove their intelligence to others and goes beyond receiving grades. Like I said, performance goals. Doesn't want to actually learn the content. Wants to show that they're smarter than others and based solely on grades received. Here is another great example of why you would want a mastery or to set mastery goals in school rather than performance goals just because it goes beyond the grades they receive and they don't really need to prove themselves to others because they're trying to learn the subject completely. An example of this would be a, sh a student showing off an A in class. This would be a performance goal because they just want to show off to others that they're smarter than them but they don't really care about the content they learned and will probably forget it in the near future. On the other hand, a mastery goal would be a student going on be what, beyond what they learned in the classroom. So they also receive the A, but they don't need to show it to everybody else. And they will go home and start learning about the subject outside the classroom, which will grow their intelligence even further. Another example of this would be a student receiving a bad grade and giving up on subject. This would be performance-based goal gone bad or gone poorly. This would be a fixed mindset. They don't think they can learn from their mistakes so they just quit and give up on the subject so they start receiving bad grades because that one bad grade brought them down whereas a student receiving a bad grade and then works harder to understand the content would be a growth mindset and setting mastery level goals because they received the bad grade but they're willing to work harder to understand what they didn't know and therefore match the content after they didn't learn it now the PPR standards that this theory relates to would be Domain 1, Competency 3, Standard B, which is using appropriate criteria to evaluate students' goals. This theory relates this standard by stating that all students should be directed toward the mastery aspect of subject rather than performance aspect. As you can see in the last couple slides, that mastery would obviously be a much greater goal setting technique because students that set mastery goals aren't doing it just for performance and if they get bad grades then they would continue to work hard to get to know the subject better. 
Another one would be the, would be domain one, competency four, standard K, which is self-directed learning and assessment that promotes students' motivation and responsibility to learn. This theory relates to the standard because if the student has a non-performance goal of learning, then they'll be able to be more motivated and responsible for their own learning. Like I said before, if a student receives a bad grade, then they're going to shut themselves off at their performance-based goal. But if they're motivated and have a mastery level goal, then they're going to stay uh, responsible for their own learning and start working outside of the classroom to learn this content. The next one would be Domain 2, Competency 1, Standard E, which is the teacher showing high expectations in different ways. The achievement goal theory is based on setting goals and why people set them. If a teacher conveys their high expectations and mastery goals to their students, it would be easier for them to realize for themselves what goals to set and how to get there. So setting high expectations for your students is very crucial, and if you set mastery level goals and help students set mastery level goals, they'll be able to go beyond the content you teach them and truly master the subject. The final one would be Domain 2, Competency 8, Standard G, which is applying motivational strategies to keep so students self-motivated. By keeping the students motivated, they'll be able to think more about a mastery-based goal rather than performance-based goals. Like I said, if the student is truly motivated to match the subject, they're not worried about the grades they receive or the performance they have based on what they're learning. They actually want to learn the subject completely and master it. Um, the achievement goal theory is very important to education. As you saw in the last couple slides, a growth mindset mixed with mastery based goals is the is a recipe for success in education really they are able to take the knowledge they know and build on it and keep working until they master the subject so we really want to as teachers help students gain that growth mindset and set mastery based goals so that was the achievement goal theory Here's my Works Cited page, and thank you.